Uh, today we are talking about expressing ability. Uh, so being able to say that you can or you cannot do something, that you like doing something, dislike doing something and so on. So to start with, we have this formula, I guess, or a pattern here where you can just fill in the blanks as you go. But basically we have a person followed by wa, the skill or thing that they can or cannot do, followed by the particle ga. And then we have one of three variations of endings. If you don't want to refer to the person, you can leave them out and you can just say the skill and in this case, wa, and then one of the three variations of endings. So for example, we might say something similar to John-san wa joba ga dekimasu. Joba is horse riding. So what we're saying is John can do horse riding. Similar to that, John-san wa joba ga tokui desu. So John is good at and likes horse riding. And finally, John-san wa joba ga jōzu desu. He is good at horse riding. Alternatively, you can leave John's name out of it and uh, if you're already having a conversation about John, you don't need to refer to him again. It's automatically assumed that, you know, the conversation is about John. So you can just simply say, Joba wa dekimasu or Joba wa tokui desu. There is actually a difference in meaning though between using wa or ga before the ending. So if you want to say something like, John san wa. Joba ga dekimasu. You're saying that John can do horse riding amongst other things. So he's good at it amongst other things. He, he, maybe he's good at reading books as well or something. But with wa, if you were to say joba wa dekimasu, it means more specifically that you can do horse riding and not really anything else. You're not really good at anything else other than horse riding. So it's a bit more specific. It's not very common though to hear or see a skill followed by wa, jōzu desu or dekimasu. It's more common to hear or see a skill followed by the particle ga plus dekimasu or jōzu desu. Underneath there is uh, some notes that refer to the use of tokui and jōzu. Number one here says use tokui not jōzu when you talk about school subjects. And second, it is better not to use jōzu when you are talking about your own or a family member's capability. It sounds as if you are boasting. Keep in mind that it's not culturally appropriate to brag or boast about one's own abilities. So it's probably more appropriate to use something like tokui when you want to discuss or, or express your abilities. And number three here, when complimented on your ability or looks, it sounds strange to say thank you. So if that's the case, what do you say when being complimented on your ability or your looks? Well, I have some options here. So answer compliments about your ability with ie mada heta or mada mada or sonna ni jōzu janai And you can answer compliments about your looks with sonna koto nai which is just a bit more of a modest response then oh thank you very much it's more sort of like oh no that's that's not true the final notes here are referring to expressing inability to do something so you can't do something or you're poor at it you dislike it so on and so forth so it's the same pattern as above where we have person followed by wa the skill followed by ga and then one of three endings here in yellow blue and pink Likewise, we can leave the person out and we can simply say the skill followed by what and one of those three endings. So, for example, we might say, John san wa jōba ga dekimasen, which means John can't do horse riding. Again, John san wa jōba ga nigatte desu. So, nigatte desu means uh, you know, someone is poor at or hates doing something. So in this case, John hates 
or is poor at horse riding. And finally, John san wa joba ga heta desu. Again, is poor at and unskillful. So can't really do it very well. So that is the notes for this topic. If you have any questions, my details are at the end of the video. Music